Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with water sign placements. That is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So if you have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, this reading could resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio placements within their chart. Okay, guys, let's get into the spread. Uh, because I am doing all three signs, I'm doing a longer spread. You guys know I usually sometimes do a five card spread. This one is a 12 card spread over here to my left with your tarot. Um, I have a five card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck with your Orisha. All right. And you guys have a significant amount of major arcana and the elements that you have out here that are strong and that are equal are, uh, the cups, the swords and the pinnacles. So we got some thoughts, emotions, and manifestations there's definitely something manifesting here the first thing that i want to say is you do have a successful new start over here in your orisha spread your first two cards out are the sun and the outcast okay and when i'm looking at your spread i do notice that there is something very peculiar or different about you water signs definitely um this brand new success or start is going to make others feel like you are their rival with the queen of cups as your first card out in your tarot you're going to feel like someone's rival and i see it in your first row of your tarot spread and throughout the orisha spread so you got the queen of cups the six of swords ten of swords five of swords okay this is what you have in your very first row this is very disruptive types of energy, betrayal energy, harassing type of energy, okay? All because you are the queen of cups. You have an energy, guys, that is uh, beautiful inside and out, definitely. As the queen of cups, you have star in the second row. You have to believe that about yourself because your star is in reverse. So I don't know uh, in what way you may be feeling a lack of hope or despair, maybe because you're waiting for a particular thing. Maybe something is happening slow. So it makes you question who you are or how you feel about yourself. But I always say other people, no, no matter what you're waiting on, no matter how much you have, they can already see who you are. So there is a particular situation where you have to be careful. Um, I do feel like a ganging up energy when right after the five of swords, your second row starts with the three of cups in the reverse. So for me, and then underneath the three of cups in reverse is the five of pentacles, which is another waste. Waste of abundance, waste of time, lack, lack of something, wasting and lack. Uh, it could go a couple ways. Your first row could indicate a trip, which I've seen, I think, in a Pisces reading before that I did. But, you know, take it as it resonates. It could be a trip. It could be just a group of people who you feel like um, you need to or you try to be friends with. Uh, it could be a group. It could be your own family um, or people you were just trying to get to know where there was some form of betrayal um, that either happened recently or will happen in the future. There's this feeling, even though I like the fool's energy um, in this deck, this could get a negative sort of um, description. But next to the sun, I know it's a new beginning, but you have to be comfortable being the fool. You are not like everybody else. OK, definitely. And I'm going to tell you, uh, where is it? Right. Your second row. You have the high priestess and the star. You are strongly spiritually connected. OK, some of you all may not like it because it makes you too different. Um, you may not like isolation. Uh, you may not. Yeah. Like just why am I not fitting into a particular thing? That's OK. It's OK. But one thing you shouldn't do is turn off your intuition. Um, right now, I think your intuition is heightened water signs. Your first card out being Queen of Cups is also adjacent to the High Priestess. These two are connected to each other. They're definitely connected by the moon. Um, the Queen of Cups understands the secrets 
that the high priestess keeps and holds, okay? Your intuition is on. There are things you see about people that um, they think that they are hiding from you. No one can hide anything from you at this time. The only thing that someone, they can't hide anything. The only thing you could do is possibly ignore it. That's it. Now, with the fives, I told you, you have your five of swords here, and then you can even have the five of fire here. So just be careful about people trying to gang up on you. There's this, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, um, who you're becoming or this new success, people feel very competitive right now. They're here. And trust me on this. Uh, and I, I don't take this competitive energy lightly. And I don't take the harassment lightly. Harassment could even be online harassment. We do have strong swords energy. Uh, so that could be the internet, social media. But you have temperance under here. All right, at the bottom of the deck of your tarot, temperance and the star could um, indicate angels, okay? Angels are around you right now because there are some people who will do things that are too dirty, ten of swords. The funny thing is some of you could be like, I don't even know why people are trying to attack me right now. I'm still waiting on my, you know, my glow up or whatever it is. You know, I'm waiting on when things are actually going to hit and they are going to. I'm trying to tell you the sun is here. It's going to happen. Something is going to happen. You have a brand new beginning now. Uh, the and I like this because these two cards are adjacent to each other. The seven of Pentacles and the nine of Pentacles. You keep working. You keep doing what you're doing. Keep believing. You're going to watch it happen, and it will. You're going to go straight to the nine from your own doing. Even here, uh, some of you are going to have drastic financial changes because the five of pentacles is next to the nine of pentacles. I've been seeing this a lot. I do feel like um, this month we've had two major eclipses. I can't remember if there are any other big um, celestial events happening in 2022. But certain things may shift even after this eclipse. And when eclipses occur, whether they be lunar or uh, solar, give it six months. Depending on certain aspects in your chart, things could, could change gradually or depending on certain aspects in your chart, they can change very quickly. You know, so where something was going really slow, it could actually speed up because you have the seven of pentacles twice. Okay, over here in your Orisha and over here, once in the upright, once in the reverse. So for some of you, the wait may just go. It may happen very, very fast. Whatever you're waiting on will bring back something um, tangible, something luxurious. The other thing that uh, we have with the Seven of Pentacles uh, coming out here twice is Saturn and Taurus. Okay, that's what that card represents. And what Saturn does to Taurus is give it willpower and strength, all right, to, to stay steadfast and be strong. So right now, don't let anything break your willpower. When I tell you, um, see, because you have the outcast, which is the fool, and then you have death also in your Orisha spread, a cycle is ending and a brand new one is beginning. Like, there is something totally new happening for you all. But I'm telling you, uh, it's these people you got to watch out for. There may, for some of you, be... Um, Issues with family members, uh, you have the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Cups as your last two cards in your spread, okay? This could indicate uh, quarrels and fighting, disagreements, really disagreements, but um, give me a sec, y'all. There's some other thing that I was feeling with that because uh, I don't know what it is about these groups. It, it, this could also be other people's family. Um, I don't know if any of you are dating right now and you're not getting along with a particular person's family. Temperance, Ten of Cups gives me that feeling. Trying to blend or merge differences. And now remember, when you come with full energy, people may think you are just too radical or just too different. People, um, you know, it's a lot of robots out here. Um, and when they see, detect difference, they kind of start malfunctioning without just appreciating you for who you are. Okay, you are being guided. The world is yours, definitely. You have uh, after temperance. Excuse me. Oh, I saw. I saw temperance. This is the lovers, guys. My bad. If anybody caught that earlier, you know. Okay. So hold on. We got the lovers. We have the um, two of wands, and we have the three of wands. Okay. Hmm. Some of you all may be uh, moving with a particular person. 
Moving, starting a business. The lovers could also indicate a contract. I don't know if you're uh, starting a family business or this is a business with a particular person um, that, uh, you know, you two get along, you see eye to eye. But the two and the three of wands right after each other and then the queen of pentacles, this looks good. This doesn't look bad at all. Um, so some of you also may be coming into contact with like-minded people. Okay, so this is another reason why you hold out. You be different. Be your different self because you will come across the person or the people that are for you with uh, the lovers. Hmm, give me a sec, y'all. I thought that was temperance. With the four of swords in the reverse. Empress in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah, intuition is important because the Four of Swords could be talking about uh, being released from a prison. You have the Empress energy, but it's also in the reverse. I know uh, any of you guys dealing with fire sign energy or um, maybe you have that in your chart because I know for Sagittarius, I've been saying over and over again, do not let people take advantage of you. And I kind of feel a particular energy like that with the Four of Swords and Empress both being in the reverse, needing a break. Could be things surrounding work or your own endeavor, not having time or energy because you feel a little drained or blocked. Be careful who tries to come back around to you. Okay? And again, don't try too hard with the fitting in thing at this point. You seem to be working on something. Um... Because there is a waste of there is a waste of time. Don't let nobody waste your time. Because not only is it a waste of time, people are against you and hating on you. So it was like I took the time to come out to do my thing, to be a part of this, to add my energy into a particular thing, only to find out that you guys are hating on me, making the situation difficult for me, you know, stuff like that. Because there, the energy surrounding you is very special with the high priestess and the star. Also, this uh, combination could talk about unrequited love. Okay, guys? It could speak on unrequited love where you are giving more in a situation than another person or you come across a particular energy where the relationship cannot manifest uh, for whatever reason. You may have thought that it was destined. I mean, we do have lovers here. For some of you, yes, you could meet a, a counterpart, but for others of you, you met someone or feel some sort of connection to someone that just we couldn't actually bring it together why because honestly i think you own your own new thing i mean i really y'all don't understand i really like the sun and the fool and the outcast i this is really really good okay it 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 highlights your uniqueness your uniqueness is a uh, key to your success okay now, over here, you have uh, some air energy as well with the two of air in reverse. Now, you see how this is like almost forming a heart. Okay. And then beneath that, you have the nine of air in reverse. Now, they are trying to shoot this bird down. So, let me... I want to read what those say um, because the descriptions are different. I want you to hear. Give me one sec, you all. Two of air. Two of air in the reverse. Talks about disloyalty, weakness of purpose, disagreements, lack of communication, hot-headedness, a certain degree of violence, which y'all, I mean, I swear to God, I mean, you got a six of swords, 10 of swords, Five of Swords, certain degree of violence. Six of Swords, when you get into that energy, um, it's funny because the five and the six are. So let's say there was a fight, Six of Swords saying, I'm moving on, um, solving it. I'm solving a problem. But being in the reverse, this is something that can't be solved. It won't be solved because the intentions were too, too bad. They were meant to truly hurt. It's like, I can't forgive you for that. Whatever it was, was meant to stop your forward momentum, whatever these people or this person is trying to do, okay? So give me a second. Uh, it says, uh, lack of communication, hot-headedness, a degree of violence, be suspicious and pay attention to your environment. Restate facts that seem ambiguous, okay? Somebody saying something to you that don't make no sense, we gotta talk about that again, okay? 
Now, nine of air in the reverse. Give me a sec. So it's like nine of swords, right? But here it talks about hiding, confinement. The query term or period has ended, timely measures. You must, it says you can and must end that period. The cycle is over. Time is up and you have to be ready. Time is up and you have to be ready. So it's funny, hiding and confinement are over. You get confinement in the four of swords, but it's in the reverse, right? Um, you are stepping out into the sun and being the fool. So if you felt confound, conf, uh, confined, <laughs> I was say confound, wow. If you felt confined or um, trapped, that's ending. But there's also something else ending too. Uh, it says you can and must end that period. I think it's a period of one, being taken advantage of, two, possibly not being yourself. Um, or playing somebody else's game. I think you're doing something, you know, all on your own right now. Um, or like whatever this dynamic is here, this false dynamic, that's over. You even have death here. And remember, in your tarot to my left, there's nothing but um, time, I said. Like, see here with the seven, seven of pentacles, wasting time with the three of cups in reverse, five of pentacles, lack, right? So... For whatever reason, whoever keeps coming in your life or these battles that people are trying to use to distract you, don't waste your time putting energy into it. Like, don't do that. Just keep focusing on what you're doing because you're not in the pentacles. Okay? So, and it will end. It will end. Whatever's happening with these people, they're going to have their own ending. But uh, you being bothered with this stuff is it's not nothing you need to put a lot of energy into. Okay? Give me a second. Even seven of earth. I want to read this to you in the reverse. Give me a second. It says lack of analysis. The tallest, the biggest, the strongest, and presumably the safest is not always the one that has the most fruits. What you sow, sowed first will not always grow faster. Okay? Your conjectures were hasty. Your impatience brings you little prosperity. Despite you're having invested the same amount of work. Seek old people's experience, for one becomes experienced and learns about the mysteries of the earth in one's old age. This can assist when you need food, support, and money. Now I'm taking this in a couple ways, guys. Uh, definitely a lack of patience, which you definitely need here, okay, over to the left in your tarot. But I don't see, it says seek old people's advice. This is your own inner wisdom, okay? Or maybe you've gotten a reading. Um, I do feel, it's funny that it says that about seeking old people's advice because I feel like you have a brand new slate to do. Sorry, guys. Hold on. One second, I'm going to close this window. All right, I think it's passing. So, um... You may know on your own. You may already know. So I, I say that a lot because a lot of people are always looking for like teachers, um, mentors and things, and I, they run into problems. So I don't know if that's something that's occurring for you all at this point. But um, there is, you know, you can have, you can seek the guidance of your own inner wisdom is what I'm trying to say. Mm hmm. Yes. Because uh, there is a particular thing where too many people are trying to gang up on you at once. Too many people. Is, and it's, there's something special about you. Definitely something special. All of this fighting and arguments and uh, hurtful words doesn't make any sense. But it's because of the Queen of Cups energy. Somebody truly feels like you're their rival. Uh, either for your own outward and inner, inner beauty or your, um, you're gifted. You're gifted. Highly intuitive. Give me a sec, y'all. Let me see if I've made a note about anything else. Some of you have a particular person in your energy that's unable to heal from some form of temptation or addiction. 
Um, so be aware of that. Like if you're trying to help someone get through a particular thing, they may be placing you in an atmosphere that becomes hostile or dangerous to you. They may be uh, around people who are actually helping them keep this up with three of cups, 10 of cups in the reverse. It could be their family or their group that actually aids on in this person's negative behavior. This could be another reason why you can't pair up with a particular person. Give me a sec. You are living in your divine purpose. This is why you can't be dealing with stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Highly connected. So that is the reading that I have for you, uh, Water Signs. If you are a Sagittarius, if you are a uh, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, this is the energy um, sort of uh, permeating for you now or energy to come. Uh, just be mindful that uh, this is a lot of conflict, but um, trust yourself. You could avoid conflict by using your intuition. I'll say that much. Your intuition will help you avoid conflict, family, friends, or with outside groups. Okay. And don't, don't be afraid. You will have competition. I'll say that much. And people may say negative things about you, but you shouldn't let it get to you. What you're waiting for will come to fruition. What you're waiting for, what you're working on will come to fruition. You have a brand new start and you have success. Okay. All right. That's what I got for you. If it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys. See you.